What's cracking TikTok? Good morning, it's your angry biracial. Man, since I'm talking about my father, I got a few more things to say about this man. This is my book, T-Mac, The Myth, The Monster, The Sex Trafficker. This man killed my mother. I know that's a bold statement, but it's true. This man killed my mother. My mother was a foreign immigrant from Egypt, an Arab woman from Egypt who came to this country to go to school. Came here to better her life, to, to, to be something. She had dreams, she had aspirations. I talk about her in this book. Her name is Sky in this book. And then she met this man. And when this man saw my mother, who was still a child, she was, she was like 18. All he saw was a foreign piece of meat. That was it. My mother wasn't a human being to him. He saw her. He drugged her up, put her on a street corner, and beat her half to death. This man destroyed my mother. And because of this man, my mother died in 2020. From, from all the beatings and all the... It could only last so long, all the drugs in her system. She had so much complications. She had seizures. She had a tumor in her head, all kinds of stuff. Because of this man. And because of this man, I never got to have a mother. He broke my mother. And because I look like this man, all my mother saw when she saw me was this man. My mother hated my guts because of this man. Because of this black man who, who just wanted to pimp. Just wanted to break women. Just wanted to destroy them. And that's why when I see these passport bros, it plays in my head the same way. Going overseas to, to create broken homes. To create angry biracials. To create fatherless kids. Kids who are going to be confused. Kids who are not going to be accepted by their foreign lands because they're half black. These black men seem to forget that racism is everywhere. You know. We got to do better. We can't afford another generation of broken homes. Because there'll be more biracials like me. There'll be more black people kids who are now men, more black women who, black girls who are now women coming out and speaking out against the fuckery of black men. Again, sometimes I wish that I wasn't the seat of a black man, that my life would have been so much better if I actually had a father, if I didn't come from this.